This is Chelsea with Rebel Saga, and we are here with special guest Jackie Earl Haley. You know him from such movies as Nightmare on Elm Street and The Watchmen. How are you today, Jackie, and how are you liking your time at Comic Palooza so far? I'm doing great, and I just got here, but as you can see out the window, there's a lot of uh, amazing stuff going on out there, so I'm excited to be here. There's a lot of construction out. We hope that you didn't get lost or anything inside of that. Nope, came straight here. Okay. You are here to show an advanced screening of Criminal Activities, which you both starred in and directed. Can you give everybody just a quick synopsis of what the movie is about? Um, sure. This is my first movie, so I'm really excited to have directed the film. Uh, it's about these uh, four guys who are reunited. Um, uh, they're, they're old college or old high school pals, and they kind of stumble onto this, um, this insider trading stock market deal. That is, it's an absolute sure thing. So if these guys could just raise a little money, they're going to end up becoming rich. So they borrow some money, and sure enough, the sure thing wasn't a sure thing. It all fell apart, and uh, it turns out they unwittingly borrowed the money from the mob. So they're in deep trouble, or they got to uh, kind of work for the mob. And this is a really interesting concept. It has the mob and insider trading. How all of how did all of this come about? Well, it kind of uh, I think kind of starts the the the, the movie opens up with uh, one of their friends, uh, who's an incredibly kind of depressed individual. Where the movie starts, and and this guy uh, he kind of throws himself in front of a bus. So his funeral is what draws everybody back together. They haven't seen each other for like ten years, and uh, again, you know. There's uh, there's this uh, during their conversation they they realize that there's this you know this, this stock deal that that you know they're everybody's kind of on rough times, and so everybody would love to to make a quick buck and it's, it's it seems like such a sure thing that they you know they decide to borrow some money but they just didn't realize who they were borrowing it from, and who they borrow it from is Eddie Lovato who's played by John Travolta, and uh, of course when they can't pay it back you know that's some serious trouble so. He's, you know, he says basically they're they're dead unless he unless they do what he asks. So they decide to do what he asks, and what he says, what he wants them to do is, is to kidnap this guy and hold him for 24 hours because he wants to trade this guy for somebody else. And so these guys, it's a fish out of water. They have no idea what they're doing. They're not criminals. They've never kidnapped anybody before. I mean, one guy's a stockbroker, you know. Another guy's kind of a, a, a nerdy spaz real estate guy. Um, uh, another guy's a construction guy, and 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 so you know these guys they they think they're gonna you know get rich, and it, and it just doesn't happen, and it's and it's very once they kidnap this guy, just everything kind of starts to fall apart and gets incredibly chaotic. Okay, and as far as the inspiration, where did the idea for the movie come from? Well, you'd have to ask Robert Lowell, who was the writer, but uh, he really did a wonderful job of of writing the screenplay. And when I read it, I was really excited. It was very entertaining. It was very Tight. The characters were were wonderfully realized. Um, there's a, there's a, a you know a good arc to to their experience, and, and it's um you know it's a satisfying, entertaining film. Okay, and with all of the famous talent that's in this, John Travolta, how did everyone come together for this? How did you get involved? Well, my manager is uh, married to this prolific producer. You guys, uh, I think some of his more famous titles are uh, Valentine's Day and New Year's Eve, but he's also done a lot of independent films, you know, in the six, seven million dollar range. And um, he had been seeing all of my audition tapes that I've been sending to my manager over the years. Mm -hmm. So he thought, you know, Jackie should probably direct this. So he mm -hmm. gave me a call and he said, hey, listen, I want you to read this script. Do you like it? You know, I'd like you to direct it. Now, I've always wanted to, to direct a movie, so I was just absolutely thrilled to get this call. After I read the script, I mean, I immediately called him up and I said, I love this script. I'd love to direct it. And bam, we just started making the movie because he was basically financed, and we started the process of, of casting. And, um, you know, uh, it was great getting John on, on board. He loved the script. Him and I had a great meeting, and he was like, yeah, let's do this. And... Um, and then we got Michael Pitt from Boardwalk Empire, and he's a he's great in the movie. Um, Dan Stevens uh, from Downton Abbey um, is in the in the film. Uh, he's playing kind of the nerd, and he just disappears into this role. You almost would never guess that it's like Matthew from Downton Abbey. <laughs> and then Chris Abbott uh, was wonderful in the first two seasons of Girls. He plays Warren, and Warren is kind of the uh, 
heart and soul of the movie. He's the, the most empathetic, compassionate guy. And then we have Rob Brown, um, who I remember seeing when he was discovered in uh, Finding Forrester. So he was really good in that. He's done a lot of stuff since then. And he kind of rounds out this group of four. And um, he's the most grounded guy. He kind of pulls everybody together when they're all kind of going crazy. And and uh, the guy that they have to kidnap and hold, his name is uh, Eddie Gathegi, and he's just a wonderful actor. He um, he just just chews up the movie. Everybody loves him in it. So I've got this wonderful ensemble cast uh, in, in a really kind of you know well crafted script, and it, and it feels like everything just kind of came together, and it's a real real watchable, real playable, you know, real kind of fun ride. Not only did you direct it, but you acted in it. How was that being behind the camera and then needing to be in front of it as well? Well, I kind of had uh, a secret weapon for that. I had Wayne, the producer, and I also had my uh, son, Christopher, who uh, is the guy that plays the, the bummed out guy in the, in the front of the movie. Um, but uh, it was, uh, you know, Chris uh, was kind of with me through the whole movie. He was, uh, he was, uh, he was my, my right-hand guy. He was my assistant. He was my creative consultant. He ended up being the visual effects supervisor. Um, he ended up having a great deal to do with the edit, too. We had an editor in L.A., and then Chris and I were working on it in my living room. So um, it was, it was a r real good experience. And now at this point, I forgot. What was the question? <laughs> What was it like being in front of the camera and behind? Oh, that's where I was going with that. So when I was acting, you know, obviously I could watch video playback and stuff, but it was really neat having you know, my son Chris as well as Wayne to where I can go up and go, how was that? So they were kind of helping direct me. Mm -hmm. So it's a big whole family affair. Um, that's wonderful. We like to see that. And you have a new project coming up. It's called London is Falling. Did you want to tell any? us anything about that any special shout outs to anybody as far as that movie's concerned well it was really neat i got to go spend uh you know a week uh, working with uh, morgan freeman and and um uh he's got like this little subplot i guess it's in the situation room that they kind of keep cutting back to while everything's going on in london but it really you know it's like uh, olympus has fallen like on steroids instead of just the white house it's like literally all of london <laughs> it's just you know basically you know being ruined and uh i mean that should be quite a quite a big ride it's a it's a good script and it's a, it's a big old action fair so and it was it was great working on it okay. if y'all don't know this london is falling is a sequel to olympus has fallen but our special guest here has been in as we mentioned earlier nightmare on elm street and we were just wondering if there was going to be a sequel you know i really don't think so I mean, I, at some point in time, I'm sure they'll make one, but it'll probably be a different cast and stuff, would be my guess. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you lost me. You lost me. <laughs> I didn't want to throw you off by dropping the camera. Okay. Well, we still have audio, and we can edit all of this together, so I'm going to run over the ending. Okay. This has been Chelsea with RebelSaga.com and Jackie Earl Haley. Thank you for talking with us today. It's been a pleasure. And for everyone else out there, keep it epically real.